This is Con Cybot 1, bringing you some more fresh gameplay from the land down under. Well, we are now officially one week away from the Black Ops 4 beta. A lot of people are talking about what they do and don't want in Black Ops 4, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be different. I'm going to talk about what I want to happen in the future of this game, because we've still got at least one DLC pack and possibly two more events to go. Now, I s said before when I was theorizing what, DL what DLC models could be like and what the events could be like that I thought DLC 4 would either be Pacific or themed around the end of World War 2. Now, Sledgehammer has gone on record saying that they want to keep World War 2 focused on Europe and the Mediterranean. Which means that we might be able to rule out a Pacific themed DLC 4, but at the same time there's enough Japanese weaponry and the Ozsten, a Australian version of the Sten submachine gun, has been found in the game's coding, so a Pacific DLC is not out of the question, or at least a Pacific themed event. But honestly, I think there's a lot of interesting potential they could do if they did a 1945-themed DLC. Starters, you could do a map themed around the fall of Berlin. You could introduce some of those really late World War II weapons. So I'm going to talk about possible maps and possible weapons that could be coming to the game. Now, the Mos and Nagant and the Ozstand have both been found in the game's coding, so we can safely assume that these are coming. Either by the end of this year in the next two events, or by the start of next year. Assuming this game gets year two and three support, like Black Ops 3 did. Now, the Mos and Nagant would probably, I'd say, be close to the Springfield M1908, M1903, I forget which one it is. Having a very generous one hit kill zone but having a slower rate of fire. Meanwhile the Oz stand would probably play either like the grease gun or like the stand. So an interesting weapon that they could add would be the SKS Semi-Automatic Carbine. Now this was the Soviet rifle that was phased in in 1945, designed by the same man behind the, the AVS-36. The weapon had a little unique mechanic where the bottom of it could be unloaded similar to the PTRS sniper rifle that we've already got in the game. And it could function akin to the Type 5 in that it could be a more accurate version of the SVT but have a slower rate of fire. Or it could be the opposite where it has a earlier fall off range and fire a little bit faster and be a bit more accurate but again have that Early, uh, fall off range. Personally, I'm still holding out hope for the Owen SMG. This is an Australian SMG that was the real Australian Sten. He was much more popular with both Australian and New Zealand troops and was much more reliable and produced in larger numbers than the Ozsten, so hence I honestly hope that Ozsten is actually meant to be the open. Another interesting gun in the bolt action category that they could do is the Maz 36 bolt action rifle. This was the French service rifle. It previously appeared in the series in Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1. Although in that game, the they incorrectly used the post-war model.
Now onto maps, like I said, if they do a 1945 themed or even an end of World War II themed expansion, they could do a Berlin map. Now this, they could remake one of the Berlin maps there in World of War. They could try to do an entirely new map. They could reskin an old map and theme it after Berlin. But in all honesty, I want to see a Berlin map. Another possible map that they could add, again, going with the Osten slash Owen Gun potentially being in the game's coding, is the Tobruk. For those who don't know, Tobruk was a city in North Africa that was held onto by the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, Anzac for short, for several months after Rommel, as in Erwin Rommel, secured a string of victories in North Africa. Soldiers there earned the name of the Rats of Tobruk, and Rommel famously said that if I were to take hell, I would use the Australians to take it, and the New Zealanders to hold it. An interesting map that could show up again is also Silo. Which would be perfect for the ground war game mode. The see that map first appearing in World at War as this big open map with villages. It also had tanks that, that you could drive in it as well. As for the war map, I'm honestly fresh out of ideas, but You could have something to do with the Siege of Stalingrad. Oh, it looks like we're done. Anyhow, please like and subscribe if you wish to see any more fresh gameplay. Once again, once the Black Ops 4 beta is open to me, I will be uploading gameplay from that and giving you my thoughts based on that. Until next time, this is ConCyber1 signing out.